Hello and welcome to this Crazy Talk 7 video tutorial where we're going to show you how to adjust the eye and teeth settings for your custom character. So in the previous tutorial I was working on this Samuel L. Jackson image and I'll continue working with him right now. So if you would like to customize the eyes you need to go up here to the toolbar and click on eye settings. As soon as I do that, I get prompted that I have to go to the content manager and choose an eye template. So inside we have five folders where I can choose animal eyes, anime eyes, cartoon, comic, or human eyes. So I can choose any type of, of eyes by double clicking on them or I can actually drag and drop. Notice that these eyes have different levels of eyelashes and shadows. So I will choose male 03 and then I will go back to the eye settings in the toolbar. So the first step is I want to get rid of the makeup. Okay, the makeup is used to cover over the eyelids. So I will take this off and you can also choose to take off the eyelash if you want to, but I want to keep those. Okay, so I am working on the eyeball iris and I can drop the brightness of the iris or I can increase it. So I'd say right about there. Okay. The next step is the eyeball whites. Okay. And this is very important because many times we look at an image and it just doesn't, doesn't look right. The reason is because nobody has extremely white eyeballs. We always have a tinge of red or a tinge of yellow inside. So adjust the level where until you reach a point where you feel it looks natural. I'd say right about there. Okay, good. Now I will go, we have several other features like the eye light. The eye light is to adjust that little glare inside, but I don't want to touch that. I just want to go to the eye shadow and this is very, very important, okay? Here I will drop the brightness and it's too dark or I can increase the brightness where it looks too cartoonish. So adjust the brightness until you reach a level that makes you feel like the character is actually looking at you. When, when you're starting to, to get scared and you think, wow, he's really looking at me, that's when you know you're doing a good job. And I'd say right about there. And the last step is where I can preview these. I can close my eyes or I can click on preview. And you can see how beautiful these virtual eyes look inside Crazy Talk. You can see the capillaries and everything inside. Amazing. Okay, so this is for the eye settings. For the teeth settings, the process is very similar. We will go back to the toolbar, click on teeth settings, get prompted to choose teeth from the content manager. And inside I have uh, different templates. I can choose teeth teeth with the braces, I can choose the vampire teeth, the million dollar smile, or just plain normal teeth. Okay, I'll choose the normal ones. And you'll notice that since my image is looking towards the left, there's a little drop in the angle, so I can rotate my teeth to be aligned with that image position. I can also scale them down to 72, I guess for both of them. Yeah, right about there. And I can move my teeth if I choose to. Just like the eyes, I can also choose to drop the brightness or increase it. One little trick is to always play around with the saturation. Okay? This will allow you to find a point where, a color point, where your teeth are in sync with your skin tone. I'd say right about there looks okay. And we're done. Once you, you, you set the settings for the eyes and the teeth, then you want to go back to the calibration panel to test these. So we do this by going back to the face fitting editor. And inside we have the calibration panel. So let me choose the eyes. Eyes closing and blinking. And I'll choose the mouth also. A. E. I. There we go. Awesome. So then I cancel, abandon changes, yes. And that's how easy it is to customize my own eye and teeth settings in Crazy Talk 7. 